At a time when drug majors like Sun Pharma and Dr. Eddie's are facing the heat from the US FDA, Lupin is stepping on the gas to give a big push to its international operations. The company, which recently acquired the US-based Gavis for $880 million, says the North American sales are expected to grow by 20% in the coming years. The pipeline continues to be pretty strong. We've got about 225 odd filings in the US and of course a variety of filings across various other markets. We've entered various other markets also and we expect growth from those markets. Um, we've launched about um, 85, 86 products in the US and we still have about 120, 130 to go over the next two to three years and for sure 201617 could be a pretty big year. Back home, the company sees a decent run with sales growing at 15 to 20 percent in the next couple of years. Uh, we do believe that growth is on track. We do expect uh, the next two to three years uh, to be fairly good years. Um, and of course, on the profitability front, uh, you know, our EBITDA margins have gone up from about 14, 15 percent, uh, which it was about five, seven years ago, to um, well over 26, 28 percent on an average. The Lupin stock has been on an upswing, gaining almost 30 percent in the past one year, at a time when chips are down in the domestic market. And an early recovery in the US market could only come as a booster dose for the company, which has managed to weather the storm so far. Ashwin Mohan, ET Now, Mumbai. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash ET Now and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at ET Now Live. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash ET Now.